Welcome to this lesson on parabolas. In the Introduction to Conic Sections lesson, you were shown that a parabola is created when a line intersects a cone parallel to the tangent line of the cone. A parabola can be concave up, concave down, open to the right, or open to the left. Its shape and its direction is controlled by the equation. In this lesson, we are going to take a look at the equations used to describe a parabola. We will review several examples and then conclude with ways to identify parabolic equations. Before we can talk about the equations for parabolas, we need to establish some common terms used to describe them. These terms are the same no matter the direction the parabola opens. Parabolas that open up or down are said to be concave up or concave down. Then there are those that open to the right or open to the left. The vertex or turning point is the point where the graph changes direction. If the parabola is concave up or concave down, the vertex is either the minimum or the maximum point. If the parabola opens to the right, the vertex is the farthest point on the left. If the parabola opens left, then the vertex is the point farthest to the right. The axis of symmetry is the line over which half the parabola can be folded so that both halves coincide. If the parabola opens concave up or concave down, then the equation used to describe that parabola is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The axis of symmetry is defined as x equals minus b over 2a, and the x-coordinate of the vertex is the same value, minus b over 2a. A parabola is concave up if a is positive, and open down if a is negative. Based on what you've just been shown, if you are given the equation shown on the screen, is this parabola concave up or down? What is its axis of symmetry? And what is its vertex? The parabola is concave up since the coefficient of the x squared term is positive. The axis of symmetry is x equals minus b over 2a, 2 over 2, or x equals 1. This is also our x-coordinate in the vertex. To find the y-value, we substitute x equals 1 into the equation of the parabola. y equals 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 8, or 1 minus 2 minus 8, which is equal to negative 9. Therefore, the vertex is 1, negative 9. How about this parabola? Does it open concave up or down? What is its line of symmetry and its vertex? Since the coefficient of the x squared term is negative, this parabola is concave down. The line of symmetry is found by the equation x equals minus b over 2a. Therefore, for this parabola, the equation for the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1 half. Using this value into the equation for the parabola and simplifying, we find the y value of the vertex is negative 2. Now how do we know if a parabola opens left or right? In this case, the equation used to describe that parabola is x equals ay squared plus by plus c. The axis of symmetry is defined as y equals minus b over 2a, and the y-coordinate of the vertex is the same value, minus b over 2a. A parabola opens right if a is positive, and opens left if a is negative. Since the process is so similar to the others we have seen so far, we are only going to do one example of this type. Given the equation shown on the screen, what direction does this parabola open, what is its axis of symmetry, and what is its vertex? The parabola opens to the left, since the coefficient of the y-squared term is negative. One quick trick to remember this. 
The formula is in terms of x, so it must open in the x direction, either left or right. Since the coefficient on the y squared term is negative, it opens in the negative direction, left. The axis of symmetry is y equals minus b over 2a, 4 over negative 2, or y equals a negative 2. This is also our y coordinate in the vertex. To find the x value, we substitute y equals negative 2 into the equation of the parabola. x is equal to the opposite of negative 2 squared minus 4 times negative 2 plus 1 or negative 4 plus 8 plus 1 or 5. Therefore, the vertex is 5, negative 2. How do you know you have the equation of a parabola when you see one? What do you see about the variables in each of the equations on the screen? If you said that only one of them is squared, you are correct. Either y is in terms of x squared, or x is in terms of y squared. Parabolas are, as we have seen, a type of conic section. We looked at equations of parabolas in this lesson, coupled with examples. We then thought about and identified a way to tell a parabola equation when we see one. Thank you for joining us as we looked at parabolas in our four other lessons on conic sections. We hope to see you in one of those lessons as well.